Come on, Jem, open your best present. I mean, that and the new washing machine and oven. You're set, aren't you? Lucky, lucky, lucky lady. What do you want, Trouble? Oh, lucky lady. Look at that. A vacuum cleaner. Comes with some official documents in an envelope and everything. She's over the moon. Oh, look at that. There's a rabbit hole here, Abby. Just there, look. And there's one there as well. And there. So I've just spent five minutes explaining to camera that this here is a tributary of the River Idol called the Meaden, and this here is a tributary of the Meaden called the Poulter. And then I had a look on the map. <laughs> it turns out this is just the River Poulter, and the reason there's a little bridge here, and there's also another faster flowing channel over there, is because there's a little island in the middle of the river. So the river's high at the minute, probably twice its normal capacity. We can see over there that it's flowing quite fast. And then this side channel, which has been dammed off somewhat, was a kind of a little bridge made out of a telegraph pole, is uh, is joining into the main channel. But it looks really quite, quite nice out here. Dogs are going on a swim. They are. So let's just zoom out and show you where we are. In a little valley, the Poulter Valley, I would imagine it's called. And... Uh, I've camped here back in the day when I was about 14 or 15 year old. But it's lovely. Right, let's carry on walking back towards Bothamsall and Crookford Waters. Abs, are you coming to knock this tree down? This one here, look. I think you'll be able to push it over with your hands. Don't fall over though. Oh yes, this is the bracket fungus look, growing on the side of it, it's an old one, look at that, proper dead isn't it this one, right let's keep exploring Abby, way up, we're not far from the path. What on earth, what on earth is this? Oh my god, we're in the middle of nowhere and we found a shopping list. Are you really? Yeah. Frozen chips, Milky Bar yogurt, Noah's food, milk, cheese, bread, eggs. And there's something else in there. Abby, can you open it up? I'll try. There, look. What's on the inside? It's a picture of a doggy. Can't, I can't believe that. Like, there literally isn't a house for about five miles. Yeah, the wind could have blow it, blown it, blow it. It's the evening coming up now, so the sun is just going down through the trees over there. So we've walked a little further on. The side of the hill is quite steep. We're in the valley proper. The river's just at the back. But here we can see there's a little bit of flood water. So it's obviously broken its banks a touch and started to come in. And oddly enough, up here, we've got a little bat box or bird box of some type. It's pretty old. What are you doing in there, Reginald? Yeah, and there's a steep ramp and a very, very old tree trunk. No, it's, I know where that goes. We want to go this way, darling. Up. Well, we've found a cave, which somebody seems to be camping in. They've reinforced the roof a little bit. Obviously the rain's brought a lot of this down. 
but it kind of looks yeah it's crazy there's a chair in here and everything then on the outside there's a little bit of a fireplace so it could even be a latrine so don't go near it but there used to be lots and lots of these dotted along the side of the rivers because obviously yeah we're playing up there look So the reason Retford's called Retford is because of this red sandstone and the crossing point in the middle of the town where the horse and carts used to go through the ford brought up all the red sand and made the ford red. So it was called Red Ford and at some point the D has been dropped and replaced with a T. But yeah, look at the colour of that sand. So Dom's carving out a little bit more into the cliffside. First time we found a cave anywhere though, isn't it? Come on then, let's keep going. There's plenty more to look and see. Come on, Hermit. Hermit Sherlock. <laughs> Vandalising everything he comes across. We found the river again, or it's, came, it's come back across to meet us. You can really see the bottom, the sandy bottom of the river there. It's actually quite, quite wide, isn't it? To be fair, I'm, I'm filming the undergrowth, the cabbage. But yeah, it's a good shot. And it goes down that way, eventually to Crookford.